guys, so uh, a couple weeks ago, Rachel, my girlfriend, bought a 2007 STI, and it didn't come with any gauges, so we're going to be installing this gauge pod that goes where the clock normally does, and we got a glow shift, boost gauge, water temp, and an ADM wideband. And uh, all the instructions that come with it, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, right now, I'm going to get started on removing this uh, clock trim piece up here and we'll get the radar detector out of the way too. Okay so the camera fell down for a minute but um, so I used uh, my test light here. I only have one hand so I won't be able to do it but um, this blue wire with the red stripe is constant power so this is the connector that did plug in to the clock here so we should be able to use uh, that constant power for uh, one or more of the gauges. I'm not sure yet, but so uh, next I'll grab uh, the harness harnesses that came with the gauges, and I'll try and run them through here and down here to the fuse box. And we have a uh, tap a circuit for one of the powers as well that we can use. Okay, so I'm working on getting the uh, boost gauge hooked up. Uh, we're just gonna tee this in, basically right here on the. Uh, the blow off valve. It came with this little T fitting here um, and the, the restrictor end goes towards the gauge. So I just kind of cut that. We'll put it on there with some hose clamps and then run this uh, through the firewall to the gauge. So we've got um, the blue wire with a red stripe is uh, constant power and the yellow wire with a blue stripe is switched power and then the black wire is a ground. So uh, we're going to just splice into this connector for the clock and steal all of those and see how it works. Hopefully that's not too much load for whatever circuit this is going to for the fuse, but I guess we'll find out if it pops a fuse. So. Yeah, we're just gonna basically splice into these. So we've got, I know this looks like a mess, but so we've got all three grounds for all three gauges going together. And then we've got all three switched powers. And then the wideband doesn't need a switch power. It just needs a constant power. So, uh, or sorry, it doesn't need a constant power. It just needs the switch power. So we've got just the two glow shift uh, boost and water temp gauges need constant power so those are there so this one will go to blue with the red stripe and then the red will go to the yellow with the blue stripe and then black to black so okay so for the coolant temperature sensor for the gauge we have this this guy right there that is going to thread into this Perrin hose adapter um, and it came with hose clamps and it's got a 1 8 NPT spot right there as well as a drilled place for uh, a ground wire to to go. So I'm not sure if we'll need the ground wire, but we're basically going to pull this upper radiator hose off and then cut a section out of it and it'll sit in there nicely like that. And you want to do this on the upper radiator hose because that's going to be a more accurate uh, temperature reading for before the thermostat is open or while the thermostat's closed. Because if you put it on the lower one, then it's not going to change. It's going to stay telling you the car is cold uh, up until the thermostat opens, so we want it in the upper hose.
Okay, the camera died uh, during the time lapse, but so we basically, you know, as you guys saw, just uh, cut out a section of the radiator hose. We face the sensor going up, mostly so you can see the parent thing, but also so that's not interfering with anything down there with the fan or the the alternator belt. So and then we'll just neatly run these wires uh, across the engine bay and inside up to the gauge, and we should be good to go. And then we're gonna let it run and make sure there's no air bubbles left. Okay, we actually rechecked the wiring diagram after it didn't work. Um, and the uh, orange wire is for the dimmer switch, so you're gonna want the green wire. I know this looks like a mess, but you're gonna want the green wire right there, which we have tucked down. That's gonna go underneath and through your, your dash, and that is coming over to the sensor right here. And then the black wire on the sensor needs to go to ground, so I have that going right there. And so far, it seems like it works. Uh, we're going to tuck this away, obviously, get it covered in some of this plastic stuff and get it all tucked out of the way so you don't actually see it too much. But yeah, now we're going to let the car warm up and make sure it works all the way up to temperature. Okay, everything's hooked up. It looks like a total mess under here, but you want to hold that real quick? So we've got the vacuum line for the boost gauge on, and we've got, it's kind of hard to see, that's the switch power ground and constant power so um, so yeah um, I'm gonna clip that down there we go that looks pretty sweet Um, this gauge pod was like $150 online. It was, uh, I forget the brand. It was one of the few not carbon fiber ones because she didn't want carbon fiber. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's expensive. It's 150 bucks, but as you can see, it just clips right in. And it fits really nicely. So I think it looks great. So I do like it. Woo! Yay. Up to red. Bam. Okay, so one last thing. Um, the airbag light was on, as you may have seen. Um, and I think the reason for that is because we have this guy unplugged, which has the passenger airbag on off. Um, so what I'm going to try is I'm going to unscrew these two Phillips screws and just take this piece and then I'm going to pop that out, plug that connector back in um, and just stuff the stuff uh, that that thing basically underneath there and uh, 
See if that makes the airbag light turn off. Okay, I'm just gonna plug this guy in. Wait. Hopefully the fact that we robbed the power and ground won't affect it working. I'm gonna turn the car on real quick. back in again um, to include the power and ground or uh, switch power constant power and ground going to the stupid clock thing with the passenger airbag indicator so we're gonna now start it and see if I can find the keys see if uh, that light turns off oh batteries on hook hold on okay up let me just uh, pop the hood so with the plastic section of the intake back on you can see all you see really see is this little bit and then that goes through this plastic tubing and back there and then this one is grounded over on this side to that bolt and then we'll start it for you just so you can see how it looks. Let me actually go to the other side. There we go. Alright, thanks for watching guys.